see you, Zeke. Studios. This is TC Music, which makes me Mr. Swizzo. And I'm Kelly. Hello, oh, hello, hello, yes. the Twin Cities. Boy, are things firing up downtown this weekend, honey. It's going to be too busy for an old man. Did you hear uh, what's going on on Saturday? 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 That's the important day. March 22nd. It's important in many, many ways, if you get my draft. Well, let's just, no, let's <laughs> not think about that. Have you heard of Mr. Crumb? Mr. Crumb from Savage Amps. You know what? I've been talking about this for a long time now. And what we have right now is we have a benefit taking place at the fine line. And I want to see you and you and you and you because... We need you there. We're raising a lot of money for Mr. Crumb. And uh, I got to tell you something. His son is actually one of the musicians in this band. And let me tell you, the band Cryptic has so many fans. You got to check this out. The room Come on up, begins boys. to fill. Oh, yeah. The roof. Welcome the roof. The roof Cryptic is on fire. We got fans. That's right. And you know what? It is going to be incredible. There's eight bands there, from Tim Mahoney to Conver Watts to World Fairs. I just, Cryptic will this be there. This is a great show oh, for geez. a great reason. Yep, David Mann, thank you, you at you Fine beat Line. That. Not only that, Daryl, Ellie, let me tell you, they put this thing together and it is great. There'll be a silent auction taking place. You can get tickets right at Ticketmaster or at the Fine Line and just get them beforehand because you know there's a discounted price, of course. And. Also, check out the MySpace. Why? Because you know you're all freaking wanted anyway all night long. Woo! Don't tell me you're not. Oh, well, somebody wants somebody, and we can't wait for that. What are you talking about? Shh, don't blow my cover, man. Mm -hmm. Dude, dude, we have agreement here. <laughs> Anyways, we're here live in the studio, and there are so many fans here. And let me tell you. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it's nice to hear some noise. You know what's great, and, though? And it's all studios. guys. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm just sort of standing here. It. The noise is great, but, um, well, it's not for Mr. Swizzo to say. But we'll leave this one me. to kill him. That's right. You know what? Show up at the fine line beforehand. I mean, let me tell you, it'll start at 8 o'clock sharp. Silent auction, eight bands. I mean, Tim Mahoney is there. Everybody is doing this. K-Fan actually had Conver Watts on, not once, but twice. Thanks, Stube, for doing that. That's awesome. Anything else going oh, anything on besides else? that? Well, after you recover from that, we'll give you till Wednesday when Fearless Filmmakers is showing a Western movie Bobby made Marzen, right you know here. I love you. Uh -huh. And if you get there early enough, check out the trailer that leads in to the feature film. Why? I would not say. Oh, please. It's so fun down there, too. Bobby does a nice job of doing independent films here. He's out of L.A., New York, and now he's here in Minnesota, made his roots. And you know why? Because it is so hot here. And you know what? <laughs> Thank you for the fan mail. I really appreciate it. I got something tonight. I was like, holy. That was really sweet of you. Thank you, Highland, Minnesota. Appreciate it. We love to hear from our fans. All right. You know what? Let's do this. We got three guys here who can make a lot of noise, and it's a lot of fun. And now you're going to see why you need to be at the fine line. You know how I love a great power trio. Let's do it. Happy All right. Happy days. Come on now. 
You are going to love this. We're cryptic. And this is for you, Jeff. Check one, two. Thank you, thank you, thank you.
Check, check. Check, check, check. All right, this next song is kind of a song about being in between two stages of life and kind of ending one life and starting a new one in that kind of gray area in between where you feel like your feet aren't quite on the ground yet. It's called falling. <laughs> This, song, this next song 
It's actually a fan favorite. We're going to do it right away. I know you guys would like to rock out to it last, but we figured we'd start the show off with a bang. This next song is called Backseat Ashtray. And for those of you that don't know, this song I wrote in physics class my senior year in high school. It was about car accidents. And at the time, I'd never been in one, but luckily afterward, I, after I wrote it, I got in one, so I kind of had that perspective to finish the song out. Yeah, luckily. Karma. This one's for my dad, Jeff. Diagnosed with lung cancer. He's gonna get better. We're gonna rock out for him. Tracking up Yeah. 
Well, doesn't that just about say it all? We haven't had that kind of noise in here in a long while. Seriously, how many girls are jealous of me? Ha! Oh, Lee, this is hot. Oh, you know, and these guys that are standing back here, I don't know, are all your fans musicians as well as fans? I hope so. Because uh, <laughs> you hear people clapping along with music, but these people are like a click track. It is amazing. You know <laughs> it's what's funny wonderful. is earlier I asked, I go, you know, when I heard that it was like three people in a band, I was like, hmm. So I had to ask a question. I'm like, why three? And it was answered so wisely, and it was because we mesh. You know, when good people get together and make good music like this, why would you need more, correct? <laughs> yeah. So This is a band that is seriously going to go places, and I would – honestly tell you if you are not a myspace friend get on there because and i would follow these boys this is just the beginning they've been around for a while well i However, think somebody's going to be their following name them. is out there now so let's go ahead and let's get this thing started yeah what um so it's because you mesh how long has the meshing been going on now? well for me and the drummer the meshing has been going on since what kindergarten about 17 years so we uh around 2000 we decided to you know, be, pretend to be musicians, and we picked up instruments, and we've been doing it ever since. So, and then since about 2003, we started the band, and we picked up this guy about a year ago. So, well, let me ask this: the new guy. You know what? The new guy is great because this benefit is all about his dad from Mr. Crumb again Saturday. Fine line. You know, when they say the word cryptic, that's the name of your band, and obviously, I have the CD right here. If we could get a close up of it. Slab of wax for it's actually all of you fans hot. out and there. And the picture itself uh, just tells a story. And it says, if a kiss could cure my disease. Tell me a little bit about why the, the band is called Cryptic. Well, uh, Cryptic is kind of convenient for us because in a couple ways, our music has random stops in it. We do things that normal bands don't. We jump out at you. And uh, <laughs> Andy? It's just hot. What, what? Yeah. The answer is sort of a lot better. Um, first of all, we love, absolutely love our fans. Without them, we would really not be nothing. So. I think it sounds that it goes both ways. Yeah, that's a good thing. Hey, tell me this. The, the songs are so, they're, they're deep, and let, yet I hear the music, the lyrics, everything goes together. Who comes up with this? How do you come up with the ideas, the songs? Well, uh, me and Mitch, pretty much. Since just because Luke's a new guy, I'm sure he'll have Is this, some, uh, some ideas coming up. But, uh, brought about by the uh, kindergarten to the present day <laughs> mesh? Some uh, sandbox I stories, yeah. Well, it's like when we kind of know we, what each other are going for. So if, if he brings me a song, I kind of already know what he's thinking when he, when he sings me the song or whatever and yeah. vice versa. If I bring him a song, he knows exactly what to do to make it better. So, <laughs> Yeah, then we, then we usually scrap the whole thing and just start from, yeah. from scratch, so... Well, and these guys have been in battle bands, obviously, but where can we see you guys play soon, or what do you have coming up? Coming up next? Clearly the fine line. You guys all got to be there. It's going to be an awesome time. Quiet Drive, Tim Mahoney, a lot of big names. It's going to be a lot of fun, plus it's for a good cause, like you said. Yeah, I want to talk about that for a second. Let's talk about your dad. Um, obviously, at the silent auction, you got to hear this. There's a guitar. There are items that are signed by Cheryl Crow, R.E.M. I mean, everybody is putting in, like, items that are... I mean, seriously, Pearl Jam. Tell me a little bit more. Let's talk about your dad for a little bit. I mean, he is loved, he is respected, and he is known. Um, Savage Ants has been around forever, and there's a reason why. He's good at what he does. So tell me about your dad. I know that he was diagnosed, and, you know, it's tough. I mean, the, the word cancer is scary, so you surround yourself with people that love you. And let's talk about that. Well, basically, my dad is Iron Man. Uh, he's works every day, loves everything about it, uh, gets up, uh, is just a man amongst boys. And, uh, you know, to see him sick has been really hard. But, um, you know, he's getting a lot better. And with the support of everyone, it's just been amazing. I want to thank everyone for, you know, writing letters and calling and making brownies and everything. That's awesome that they've been doing for us. So I want to thank them. But he's going to get better. He's a rock star just like us. And... You know, he's a man amongst boys, like I said, so. I think that's awesome. And he, I you bet. know, there are people that beat it. I come from a generation when, when you heard the word cancer, it was, oh, no, this must be the end. It but ain't so I beat it. anymore. I beat it. You're I looking at a survivor right here. And uh, 
you know, and, and that's what it's all about. And Swizzle has supported me along with the whole wonderful Tease music. And you know what? You're right. People do beat it, and, and you move on. But it's like this love and the, the circle of people that you meet when you're going through it, that, that makes a difference. Well, while we've got the man here, you grew up with a man that was involved not just with music himself, but with musicians all over the place. Any real great memories or any general feeling about having that opportunity as you were growing up? Well, I, I met a couple minor people. Uh, I really wish I could just call you know Pearl Jam up and say, hey, we're going to go on tour with you, but it's, <laughs> it's not really like that. I met uh, Cher's basement. He had dinner with our family, or basement, bass player. He had dinner with our family once, and just random musicians, you know, come in. Uh, Matt Cameron of uh, Pearl Jam, the drummer, has a bunch of Savage Amps, and he's a bass player too. I've met him, and just, you know, the best thing I can say about those guys is that they're classy, you know. Uh, great guys, and I just, it was my pleasure to meet them, you know. Your time well, will come, I guarantee it. Yes, I know. You know, I don't want to spend too much time because the music is so good and the fans are here to hear it. Yeah. But I really want to say Saturday, March 22nd, fine line. Get your tickets on Ticketmaster. Cryptic will be there, World's Fair. We right, got there's Tom a record Watts. up. Is there we a website? Honey. How do they keep tabs on Cryptic? www.crypticiscoming.com. Well, we also have a MySpace, although who doesn't, you know. Uh, www.myspace.com slash Cryptic is coming. And benefit of... Mr. Crumb, correct? Being for the benefit of Mr. Crumb. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. I, I need tonight. to hear more because I cannot get enough. And I'm All right. Sure one, yeah, hear. yeah. One last quick little note. Um, a week from we'll Sunday that. on the 30th at the Uptown, there will be an infamous 50th first uh, birthday. But uh, a little early in that evening, there's going to be kind of an interesting all-star Minneapolis event that. Uh, it has Mr. Swizzo's uh, recommendation for the next week or so. Come you see know what us that down means. there. <laughs> do it. All right, let's do this. You guys, come on now. Ladies let's make this thing happen. And the gentleman. Rock and roll. You know, I don't suppose you want to hear a new one. like the last song we wrote. Well, okay, Andy, you brought this song to me, so you might you might know better than I what it's about, but I know what I kind of got out of it. It's kind of a song about the, the people that aren't right in your life and avoiding them in some way. And uh, I don't know, kind of what goes around comes around, that sort of thing. Yeah, it's kind of, it's called Evil Stepsister. And it's straight up as it comes, it's about, you know, we've all seen Cinderella and Snow White and crap. They have the evil stepsisters, no one likes them, and basically this song's about them, so, whatever. Enjoy it, taste it, take it in. A shapeshifter, evil sister. Oh, boys on Apple Shapeshifter, evil sister 
What'd you think of that new song? You like it? Like that new song? Yeah. Cool. Well, this next song actually wasn't gonna be on our album. It actually wasn't a song for the longest time. I kind of had it in the background, and one day I just played it again, and we decided to pull it out. So, kind of glad we did. It's called "All I Am."
Who wants acoustic? <laughs> Bust out the acoustic. This next song is about dancing the night away. For those of you just joining in, we are cryptic. And uh, you gotta come out again for those just pouring joining in here. We're playing at the fine line on Saturday for the cancer uh, benefit for Luke's stepdad here. Jeff, it's gonna be a good time. A lot of big names, a lot of rockin' music going down, so Saturday, fine line, be there, be square. We'll, we'll break you. This song is called Wearing Me Empty. I lay down to lies out of your you don't have to explain and She forgets what I said to her Forever hides the place I wake up Cause I wanted to breathe the light in the darkness But not like anyone else Cause I wanted walls with you in the darkness But you're wearing me empty I wanted to breathe the light in the darkness But not like anyone else And I
This next song is called Life of Learning. Take him away, Luke. It's a song we call Unashamed.
So we got one more song we're gonna do for you guys. How are our uh, studio audience people feeling out there? You having a good time? <laughs> Rock on. And if you could pick just one last song to hear, it would be Colonel Mustard, right? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, start the chant, guys. Let's start the chant. Cryptic. So we've been cryptic. And this song is called Colonel Mustard. It's a kind of a murder mystery song. Uh, we kind of got the idea from the board game Clue, hence the, uh, hence the title. So, sort of a who done it, you know, that sort of thing. So. Who are we? Who are we? Who are we? So see if you can figure out who did it. You guys are crazy.
missing. you guys once again we're cryptic that's www.crypticiscoming.com got four more minutes we, we got four more minutes well uh you know what this saturday fine night come check us out quiet drive tim mahoney honey dogs cumber Watts, tons of big bands gonna be an awesome time cheryl crow signed guitar rem signed guitar pearl jam signed stuff it's gonna be awesome so we hope to see you there and once again, we are Cryptic, www.crypticiscoming.com. We want to thank the show here for having us. It had been a blast for us. It's right back there. That's the show. What's that? Oh, they're going to make me play this song. We're going to go with Darryl. a bang, I guess. Thank Daryl from Conver Watts. He's awesome. Yeah, he's the man for selling to set this up. And, uh, yeah, we were Cryptic. And this is another new song. It's called Sweet So Innocent. So we hope you dig it.
Thanks a lot.